So I'm going to spend just a few minutes talking about our cardiovascular and lipid management program, our stroke prevention program, just as an example of one of our sections under It's Your Health to give you uh, an idea of what we've done for cardiovascular disease. So our, ipid, our, our, lipid, sorry, our lipid management program is focusing on management of blood cholesterol levels. It is group with individual. Uh, if the person needs more individual follow-up, we certainly do arrange for that. Uh, blood pressure monitoring, blood pressure measurements, weight tracking. It's offered with, uh, with the patient in the center because, of course, the patient is, is part of the team and there, it's a, it's a patient-centered approach to care a registered nurse, clinical pharmacist, registered dietitian, and a physician medical advisor. So what we have found is the patient either self-refers himself into the group uh, with a diagnosis of, of lipids, uh, high lipids, or they are, are referred into the group from either the hospital or the primary care providers or from an outside agency. The clients arrange for a follow-up appointment before they leave the initial session. So we start out with one initial session. A variety of topics are based on their need and the feedback. So the feedback that they provide us will then determine what topics that we add uh, to, to the next sessions. So there are definitely some, some hot topics that, that we do address. Evening classes are available. We're opening, we open one evening a month to ensure that we have access for, for the patients. And that is especially important for patients who are not able to come during the day. We want to make sure that that's not a barrier to care. Uh, contact information is provided. Clients are encouraged to call if they have any questions or concerns. So they would call one of the team members involved in that program, whether it be the dietitian or the pharmacist or the, or the nurse. And if they need more intensive management, again, there's, there's that follow-up and availability with the registered dietitian or registered nurse. We have a medical directive that allows our educators to, to order lab work and to follow up with the lab work fall, um, prior to the appointment. So we really encourage people to come in, have their lab work done, and then come into the appointment so it, it does save time. We contact them with a letter. Uh, we call them prior to the class to remind them. This has shown to significantly reduce our no-show average within the classes. We, we did battle with that a little bit uh, trying to empower people, it's your health, but still needing to remind, we felt the reminders were important. Uh, so we do utilize the volunteer department at the hospital as well, who does provide a number of the reminder, reminder calls for this particular program. So clients are encouraged to know their target numbers, so we share their target numbers with them, and to understand what the numbers mean as well. So it's certainly we do uh, strive to customize the care to the individual needs, even though it is offered in group uh, settings and then individual afterwards. We focus on self-management. Uh, they, again, they uh, participate in health assessment and goal setting with a registered nurse. Everything, the, all of our records are in electronic medical records and it is accessible by all of the providers in our family health team. So the EMR system has certainly improved our ability to share information and ensure that all our providers are on the same page. Uh, we also are using the, the Stanford Chronic Disease Self-Management Program and uh, we've just recently ensured that uh, five of our staff are now trained in that program so that we can uh, provide that program as much as possible in our community as well. So, you know, to echo Terry, it's, it is an excellent program, and um, she's done lots of work in Greenstone. That's ex wonderful. So the goals are reviewed at each visit, and uh, support is provided as the patient needs it. Briefly on the stroke education piece, um, it's, again, blood pressure monitoring, uh, blood sugar uh, monitoring, weight, waist circumference, education, and displays. Putting the patient in the center, uh, it's a centered approach to care. The team members that we have involved in that are our nurses, our pharmacists, our mental health therapists, our practical nurses, and we also have a volunteer who comes out to many of our, our events, and she's a retired RN, and we've just recently trained her in the chronic disease self-management program as well, so she can provide that. The follow-up techniques is, is we're making sure for the stroke prevention program that we're coordinating services with the hospital and physician uh, referrals, clients attending the emergency room, um, if they're questionable or at risk for TIA or stroke, and they can be referred into the program. 
We do a lot of community outreach. We go into the food banks, the supportive housing units, uh, the workplaces to ensure that people are aware of the program as well. And we also provide a blood pressure drop-in clinic a uh, number of times uh, during the month and at a local pharmacy to again provide that outreach access. So our patients have commented, um, the, the, these two patients in particular, I feel I have at least two people working for me now, my doctor and Carrie the dietitian. I feel like I'm twice as healthy. So that's one of our physicians there, Dr. Cortens and Carrie Gagne, our registered dietitian. We, the feedback that we're receiving is the patients like the access to the allied health providers, they like the access to the programs, they feel that they have access to information that's going to empower them in their health and provide them with tools and resources. We have operated our lipid program now for one year. We have 128 patients enrolled in the program. Uh, we have done uh, a study on the results. I've given you three of the highlights there from, it, it's just recently finished the, the first year of the program. We definitely have uh, ideas to improve it. And I'm sorry, you don't actually have this, this slide. I just uh, added this one in uh, recently. But there was a 3% decrease in LDL level LDL levels in the past year and 76% uh, percent of all clients were at target or improving towards target. So we found that was really exciting and really positive. We certainly have plans for this program to improve upon, to improve access to and ensure that we can uh, register more uh, clients. So some of our obstacles for care or some of our challenges is that we, ha we need more evening classes. Um, we don't use email for corresponding with, with patients. Uh, we have an increasing follow-up load, so we have 128 patients now. Uh, this, the staff have taken this program on as part of their job responsibilities, so as the numbers are increasing, it's going to increase the amount of need for, for staff to in, uh, increase this program. Um, sometimes there's a disconnect between referring agencies, sometimes they're not aware of the program or they forget to refer to the program. One of the things that we're doing to address that is we're going to start using our referral uh, form in triplicates and it's going to be done on admission at, a, at the hospital rather than discharge. So they come into the hospital and perhaps if they're there long enough even one of the family health team nurses might be able to visit them at the hospital and start the education piece before they even go home. So there's a little bit of struggle between fostering self-management and, and the letters, but we definitely decided to continue along with that. Our next steps, we are going to continue to monitor the program, make the changes as we need to say, and as we need to do according to the evaluation, and determine the future needs. We're also involved in QIP, which is a Quality Innovations Improvement Partnership. We're doing PDSAs, um, uh, like Jennifer talked about, uh, PDSAs certainly are, were helpful and they're helpful as we continue to, to improve upon our practice. And that's it. Thank you very much.